Welcome to Pikia Saves the World, and these are my lab research students. I'm Priscilla, and I'm a third year pre dental student. I'm Kevin, and I'm a fourth year pre dental student. I'm Eddie, and I'm a second year pre dental student. I'm Andrew, and I'm a second year pre dental student. I'm Patrick, and I'm a third year pre pharmacy student. Today, our lab will be demonstrating for you how to perform a spot western. So, the purpose of a spot western is to help us detect if our protein of interest is present in our protein extract or secreted media. We will be using primary and secondary antibodies to bind to that protein of interest, and to help us visualize that protein, we will then be adding a substrate. The first thing we need for a spot western is a nitrocellulose membrane. This membrane will provide us with the medium for us to capture the proteins that we're actually trying to study. We will also need Wattman paper, which will provide us with the suction needed during our protein collection step. Next, we'll be using a Cyplast dot blot holder used to collect our protein samples. We will also need sterile water. We will need a protein extract or secreted media that our proteins are contained in. We will also need an eye block solution made of 0.1 grams of eye block, 50 milliliters of 1 times PBS, and 100 microliters of 50% tween 20. We will need a wash buffer made of 25 milliliters of 10 times PBS, 225 milliliters of sterile water, and 500 microliters of 50% tween 20. We will need primary and secondary antibodies, about 10 microliters of the primary antibody in eye block solution, and about 2 microliters of secondary antibodies in eye block solution. Next, we need the assay buffer made of 36 milliliters of sterile water and 4 milliliters of 10 times femto TVST. And lastly, we need our femto substrate to visualize our proteins. First, you want to cut out a piece of Wattman paper that will cover the entire surface area of the holes. So now we want to make sure to cut out a piece of the nitrocellulose membrane. We need to cut out enough to cover the entire protein extract and we need to make sure that it fits um, within the Wattman paper as well. So now we're going to soak the nitrocellulose membrane. You want to start with one corner in the water first and gradually let the water creep up. So we're going to do the same thing with the Wattman paper. We're going to soak it in water, starting from the corner, submerging it gradually downwards. After the nitrocellulose membrane has been submerged, we're going to move it over to the tippy topper over there, where we are going to let it be soaked for five minutes. We'll come back to it later. Okay, it has been five minutes on the tippy topper. It'll now remove and go to the apparatus. Next, we will now move the Wattman paper. Okay, first we'll be removing the Wattman paper from the sterile water and placing it into the apparatus. We will be covering all the holes. Then we will be rolling after that to avoid any excess bubbles. Remember, you'll have to be doing this twice for one for the Wattman and one for the nitrocellulose paper. The nitrocellulose paper should be on the holes where you'll be putting your protein samples on. We will be rolling again. After you're rolled, you'll be placing the top back on. And then we will screw evenly all the screws. And after that, we'll put the suction in, and then we'll turn it on. So next, we're going to take our protein samples and bring them over to our apparatus. Now, what we're going to do is take our protein sample and take a pipette. 
and pipette them carefully into each one of these holes. Okay, so we're gonna be taking our protein samples and be inserting it into uh, each hole. So in this case, I'm gonna put, be putting this protein sample into B7, and you have to be careful to make sure to put the actual protein sample at the very bottom of the hole. And you cannot leave any kind of bubbles in the, at the bottom, or else you'll have to take an extra pipette tip and break it up. Break up the bubble so that the protein is actually in contact with the paper underneath. Now when all of the protein samples have been suctioned out through the paper and into the vacuum, we're going to be taking the apparatus apart, taking out the nitrocellulose membrane, and marking it to make sure that we remember which side the proteins are on. So in this case, since we uh, get put in the protein from the top, the proteins will be on the top side of the nitrocellulose membrane. Now I'm going to be taking off the Wattman paper from the apparatus. Now taking off the nitrocellulose membrane. Being careful not to touch any of the protein. I'm going to take a pencil marking the top of the nitrocellulose membrane and moving it into a piece of Wattman paper, just empty Wattman paper, and I'll be taking this to the incubator to dry for five minutes. So while we're waiting for five minutes, we're gonna prepare the eye block. So we're gonna measure out 0.1 grams of eye block on the scale, so we're gonna it out. Okay. So once we have 0.1 grams of eye block, we're gonna mix it with 1x PBS, 50 mils of 1x PBS, which is in this flask. Mix it in. And then we take it into the microwave. Okay, so we're gonna put the 1x PBS and the iBlock into the microwave and make it boil. Once we see it boil a little, we're gonna do it two more times for a total of three times. Once it's done boiling, then we're gonna take it out and put it into ice so we can cool it to room temperature. Once it's cooled down to room temperature, we're gonna add tween 20 into the solution. Tween 20 has a thick viscosity, so make sure to pipette up and down. So now that we're done with the, making the eye block solution, we're gonna go ahead and make the wash buffer. And now this is when you'll be making your wash buffer and assay buffer according to the instructions in the protocol. So for the next portion, we'll be doing the snap ID. For this, you will need the blot holder and the nitrocellulose membrane from earlier with all the proteins already on it. For this first part, you have to make sure you wet both of these in sterile water first. So after I wet the blood holder, I'm going to move it from the sterile water. And I'll proceed to wet the uh, nitrocellulose membrane. Now, when you put the uh, nitrocellulose membrane into the blood holder, you have to make sure that it is protein side down. Usually what we do is use a pencil to mark the side that has the protein side on it put it down like so. Once you've put the nitrocellulose membrane into the blot holder, you can now roll it out to prevent any air bubbles from forming. So once you've put the nitrocellulose membrane into the blot holder protein side down, we will then move it onto the Snap ID apparatus over here. Note that there's a notch here and then a protrusion over here on the apparatus. You have to make sure that those align so it'll look a little something like this. 
From here, you simply close the apparatus and move it onto the vacuum. For this portion, we will be putting I block into this opening of the apparatus and turning on the vacuum. And from there, we will be holding it down for 30 seconds to ensure a good seal on the on the block holder and the apparatus. And we're going to wait until all the I block is suctioned out. So next we're going to add the primary antibody to the solution. We're going to drip it on carefully to ensure that all the proteins are covered. So after we add the primary antibody, we're going to let it sit for 10 minutes. Halfway through, we're going to move the blot holder around to make sure that it is evenly distributed over the proteins. So after the 10 minutes is over, we're going to section out the primary antibody, and then we're going to wash it four times with the wash wiper. We're going to do the same thing with the secondary antibody. We're going to drip it on and then we're going to let it sit again for 10 minutes. So just like we did with the primary antibody, um, five minutes into the 10, we are going to check on the membrane and make sure that the solution is covering the proteins evenly. And then we're going to wash it four times again with the wash buffer. After washing the nitrocellulose membrane four times with the wash buffer, we will now remove the membrane from the SNAP ID and add it to the Petri dish. After adding the nitrocellulose membrane into the Petri dish, we will now use the assay buffer made from TBS and tween, and we will pour it twice every two minutes, and each pour will have 20 milliliters. While we wait for two minutes, we will be making a flat working area by putting four corners of tape for the saran wrap to be placed on top. So next we will be using the saran wrap and then we will be placing it in the four corners of the tape I placed earlier. We try to make a flat surface as possible for the experiment. Okay, after washing the membrane with the assay buffer twice, you will now be removing the nitrocellulose membrane and then you will be dabbing it on the Kim wipe dry off excess assay buffer. You'll be using the corner specifically to dry it off. After removing excess assay buffer, you'll be placing it on the saran wrap that you've made previously. Alright, after adding the nitrocellulose membrane onto the saran wrap, we'll be adding 2 milliliters of femto substrate solution drop by drop onto the membrane. And then you'll be waiting for 5 minutes for incubation. After 5 minutes of incubation, we will pick up the nitrocellulose membrane again and then we will dip it on the Kim wipe again to remove any excess solution. After I place the membrane onto the saran wrap, we're going to make a clear envelope with no bubbles or wrinkles. Alright, after we make a clear envelope, we will now cut out the area with the nitrocellulose membrane with the scissors, and then we will develop. So this is where we go to develop our nitrocellulose membrane. This is the machine that picks up all the proteins and quantifies them, and this is the program that it works with. And once we develop our nitrocellulose membrane with our proteins on it, this is what it will look like with our positive negative control, and we are able to quantify all of the proteins that are on the membrane. Thank you for watching Pickia Saves the World, and good luck on your own spot westerns. Arrivederci! How did you learn? That was pretty good. <laughs>